Good evening. It's uh, great to be with you today. This is uh, our, our nightly uh, prayer time, our time to meet with God and pray and uh, worship together. Um, so uh, we're going to do that just for 10 minutes. And tonight we're going to be praying out of Psalm 65. Psalm 65. Hope you've had a good day. And uh, oh, I'll turn this thing off. But uh, do comment. Do comment in the comment section uh, and encourage one another uh, as we pray. Um, so it would be good to do that. Ooh. So Psalm 65. If you've got a Bible, it would be great to have, uh, have you read along with us. We're just going to take a couple of verses and then pray out of those verses uh, as we go along. The first verse says this. Um, it says, Praise awaits you, our God, in Zion. To you our vows will be fulfilled. So let's just take a moment to bring praise to God. Praise awaits him when we gather with him. Our praise brings him joy and delight. So Father, we thank you. We thank you that we can please you with our praise. And praise awaits you, our God. We give you praise. We give you honour. We declare how great you are. For you are worthy of all of our praise. You're the Holy One. You are the majestic King, ruler of all the nations. We thank you that there is nothing outside of your control. We bring you praise for you are the sovereign God, the one who is true and high and mighty. You are the one who sits on the throne, victorious, victorious over the challenges of life. And you are our, uh, the one that we look to in those moments. And we praise you. We glorify you. We worship you this evening. As we gather together, Lord, we come with great thanksgiving and, and honour to you and say, Blessed be the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. You are famous for your goodness. And we proclaim your name as good and great. In Jesus' name, we worship you. We worship you. Good evening. If you're joining us, we're, we're just praying out of Psalm 65 today. Psalm 65. So we just prayed out of verse 1. Praise awaits you in Zion. Let's go on to verse 2. Verse 2. For you answer our prayers. All of us must come to you. Let's just spend a few minutes praying and thanking God that he hears us. Amen. Thank you, Father. Yeah, Father God, we thank you that you are a God who hears us. Mm. You're not a God made of stone or metal, but you're a God who hears us. You are a God who is always available to listen to us. You never rest, you never get fed up, you never sleep. You never can't be bothered, but you're always up there. You're always there listening to us, hearing us, responding to us. Yes. And that even when we don't feel like you're hearing our prayers, you are hearing them and you are responding in the way that you know is the best way. And Father God, we just thank you that whatever our needs are today, whether they're big or small, we can confidently come to you and know that you are a God who hears us, who listens to all the details, all the worries of our lives. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so we're praying this evening out of Psalm 65. Psalm 65. Praise awaits you. He's a God who, who's deserving our praise. Amazing truth that uh, he answers our call. He answers our prayers. He, he listens to us and answers and responds. And then verse 3 says, When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. And it's good to come to God and just say, Holy Spirit, would you uh, shine your light on our lives? If there's thinking or attitudes or ways of approaching life that are unhelpful, that don't foster our relationship with God, then we want to be alerted to those, don't we? So let's just take a moment in this, in this time, just quietly to reflect and invite the Holy Spirit to bring that conviction, that light into our lives. Uh, that would allow us to repent, to change the way we think, that we would be able to live differently. So let's just spend a moment doing that. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are the light of God into our lives. 
And we invite you to come right now, to come and shine into our thinking and into our actions, to bring your light to bear in the dark places of our lives, in the recesses where we're not aware of you, where we don't see you. We ask you to come. We thank you that you, your, the purpose of your conviction is that we would be aligned to the Father, that we would be able to live in more intimate relationship with him. We thank you that the confidence that we have before you is that if we confess our sins, that we do so to a God who is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We thank you as we turn to you this evening. We thank you that you forgive us, that you cleanse us, that you bring your wholeness to bear on our lives, that we are the most uh, joy-filled people because we have the affirmation, the forgiveness, uh, the approval, the love, the smile of God upon our lives. And we thank you for that this evening. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's great to have you with us. We're praying out of Psalm 65. We're going to jump a few verses uh, down to verse 11. Verse 11. I love verse 11. It says, You crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways will overflow with abundance. And um, We've had an unusually difficult year this year. Many people have unexpected. We could never have expected how this year was going to turn out. But let's just spend a bit of time crying out to God for a harvest. Mm. Yeah, Jesus, we just claim this promise that you are the God of the harvest. Mm. And we just ask that you will bring a harvest this year, a harvest of people turning to you. Yes that you will be softening people's hearts, you will be revealing yourself to people all around the world in dreams and visions, and we will see a harvest of men, women, and children turning to you. We pray for many prodigals to return to you, those that we know and love that have known you over the years. We pray that we will see them return to you this year. And for many, many people who have never even thought about you or, or known you, we just pray that you will be revealed to them this year mm -hmm. and that we will see many people in this city and in this nation and all across the world turning to you and that there will be an abundance harvest this year, mm -hmm. that you, the, the year will end with your goodness, your abundance, your harvest in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, a, <clears throat> there's an Alpha starting on Wednesday, so we're just going to pray for that. Father, we pray for this Alpha course mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, being that's starting on Wednesday. We thank you for Alpha. We thank you mm -hmm. for the, the structure and the mechanism of Alpha. We thank you for the many, many thousands of lives changed through that course uh, around the world, Lord. And we want to pray, Father, that uh, as this course starts on Wednesday online, that you would reach out to people and cause them to come, cause them to want to engage uh, online, Lord. Mm -hmm. We pray that they would find it an easy thing to do this week, to engage with this Alpha course uh, as we run it online. And, and we pray for wisdom for those leading it, for those leading uh, breakout rooms, Lord, mm -hmm. that they would be able to, to have uh, the right conversations that would create space for people to explore their own ideas about God and move towards you. Uh, Father God, that they would become uh, <coughs> lights mm -hmm. in this world because they have encountered mm -hmm. the one who is light. So we bless that course, mm -hmm. Lord. We say we speak fruitfulness upon it. We say that it be bountifully fruitful uh, in this second half of this year. Amen. And we're going to carry on praying out of this verse 11. You crown the year with your bounty uh, and your carts overflow with abundance. And <coughs> Just today we've heard, haven't we, that uh, they're, they're making some progress with the vaccine uh, for COVID-19. So I thought it'd be good to just pray that God would give success, that he would, he would crown this year with, with uh, the, the wonderful 
uh, insights and wisdom for those who are working in those projects, that they would understand how to make a, a, virus, a vaccine to, to combat this virus. So let's just pray in that way. Father, we want to pray for all those scientists and workers and nurses and uh, medics and all sorts of people, Lord, that are involved in the process of developing these vaccines. Uh, and Lord, we, we know there's 23 of them around the world being developed. And we, we just want to say, Lord, would you uh, equip people to know how to create a great vaccine? We pray for a release of wisdom and understanding for those in the scientific community, that they would have insights as to how to create a vaccine that would bring an end to uh, COVID-19, Lord, that would uh, kill it off around the world, uh, and that people would be able to be vaccinated and, and it would no longer have an effect uh, on, on our world. So we pray that, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now let me end by, by blessing you with uh, verse 8. Verse 8, it says, The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders. When morning dawns and evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders. Father, that's our proclamation. Let the, let the whole world be filled with awe at your wonders. Let the whole world know let your whole world know the glory of the Lord. Let it cover the earth. Let it fill people's eyes and their ears and their thinking. Let them be caught up with the wonders of God. For you are great and glorious. And Father, we bless each and every person that's prayed along with us tonight. We say, God, let them experience your goodness in the second half of this year. Lord, in a way that completely blows their mind. Let them look back and, and say, yes, that year really was crowned with the bounty of God. So we pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for, for being with us. We hope you have a good evening and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.